Hello, thanks for tuning in to Smoky Magic Media Live. We're excited about the show that we have coming up today, so don't go anywhere. We're going to run that intro. Hey everyone, it's Elizabeth, the owner of Smoky Magic Media, a social media marketing company here in the Smoky Mountains. I like to bring you guys different helpful information regarding marketing your business and showcase different businesses locally and what they're doing with social media. So we've got an exciting show ahead of us today. We're going to talk to Summer Blaylock about Alcatraz East Crime Museum. Thanks for coming on the show, Summer. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be here. I'm glad that you're here. So we're <laughs> going to talk a little bit about Alcatraz East Crime Museum, which is here in Pigeon Forge. Um, tell us a little bit about what you've got going on there first. Talk about uh, the museum itself. So a lot of people that haven't visited the museum, um, they see our name and typically think we're a museum about Alcatraz. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, that is some of the things that we have in the museum. You will learn about Alcatraz on your visit. And our museum was inspired by our owner's visit to the real Alcatraz. Okay. Um, but we're a crime museum, so we focus on so many different aspects of American crime. Um, we have five galleries, so the first is the history of American crime. The second is CSI, which is all dedicated to forensic science. The third is consequences of crime, so you can learn about famous prisons and trials throughout history. Um, the fourth is crime fighting, which is all dedicated to law mm -hmm. enforcement. And then the fifth is um, counterfeit crime and pop culture. Which so is very informative going through that. Yeah. Yes. So really, we cover a little bit of everything in the museum. It's a 25,000 square foot facility. It is enormous in there. Yeah. When I uh, did the walk through, it keeps going and going mm -hmm. and going. So you don't really get a, a, a grasp of how large it is inside until you're in there and you're starting to read everything. Now you tell people to allow about how much time? We say about two hours. Um, depending on how much you're into what you're, what you're checking out mm -hmm. in the museum, I've had people spend as much as five and six. Yeah, I would say about three to four mm -hmm. would probably be if you really want to like absorb it and read mm -hmm. um, because there really is so much content in there. And you guys go in depth yes. with some of those uh, stories or um, the information on some of the items even. Mm -hmm. Is there something that people talk more about that is kind of the highlight when they go? I think it's really different for everybody because we have such a diverse um, you know, area of topics of discussion mm -hmm. in the museum. Um, our car gallery is very popular. Um, of course, we have five different vehicles at our museum. Um, probably the most well-known is the Bronco that was used in the O.J. Simpson mm -hmm. chase. We have Ted Bundy's Volkswagen Bug. We have John Dillinger's 1933 Essex Terraplane, which is one of my favorite cars. And then we have the Bonnie and Clyde car from the original movie. The bullet holes. <laughs> yep, covered in bullet holes. Um, and then we have a um, an undercover police mm -hmm. van which is fully stocked with equipment so that's really neat too just to kind of see how undercover work is right. done so that section is always super popular of course the serial killer artifacts are always a huge um, hit and topic of interest for people and then just as we were talking this morning we have a section dedicated to 9-11 mm -hmm. and remembering um, you know what had happened and where we were whenever it took place so that's also a a section that's very popular as well. It's a very emotional um, section because you know you had where people can write down where they mm -hmm. were and kind of how they felt and everything um, and that's for every day that's for the people that were there every day mm -hmm. in, in the museum um, so it was very it was very moving that that particular portion of the museum but it kind of takes you on a, on a journey of emotions really mm -hmm. as you're going through because some of it's just it's thrilling, it's fascinating, and sometimes it's disturbing, and sometimes it's sad. Yeah. So depending on what you're reading or you know what you're learning about, um, you're, you're just going through all these emotions as you walk through the museum. Mm -hmm. 
Um, what do you, would you think the age range? What would you recommend if families are curious um, about? I typically, I, I deal with a lot of groups coming into the museum, school groups mm -hmm. and things like that. So I typically tell them fifth grade and up mm -hmm. is a great um, age range for them to start coming to the museum. Children seven and under are free admission. Um, so, you know, you're more than welcome to bring children younger than that. Um, I have a nine-year-old who absolutely loves the museum. Um, we have a sister company, WonderWorks, yes. which is a fully interactive science museum. So we understand the importance and the great fun aspect of being interactive. Mm -hmm. So we have over 100 interactives in Alcatraz as well. Yeah, um, the whole, um, I, would, would you call it a lab area? Yeah, in our CSI mm -hmm. uh, gallery, we have a forensics lab. It's really neat in mm -hmm. there. I When I went through, there was a lot of children that were, were taking part of, you know, doing different things in that area. Um, and it's a large area. There's a lot in that particular yeah. area. So because of the interactives, the younger kids will really enjoy mm -hmm. it too. And another thing we've added is the Top Detective Challenge, which is essentially a scavenger hunt that kids can use. So it's oh. a book where they're looking for clues and answering riddles and questions as they go through. Oh, so that fun. keeps them super yeah. engaged and they enjoy it as well. Now what is your approach? I mean you've got, um, you have Facebook, mm -hmm. you have Twitter, mm -hmm. Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your approach to marketing Alcatraz East? You know Alcatraz is an interesting topic just because we have so many different things in, uh, in the museum to talk about. Um, Crime, whether people want to discuss it or not, mm -hmm. is something that everybody is interested in. Right. Um, if it wasn't, the news wouldn't be as big as it is. Very true. <laughs> so people are always interested in what's going on in the world. So we have, um, you know, the opportunity to talk about a lot of things that are happening, current events mm -hmm. and different crime um, history as well. So we really have a wide variety of things to talk about. Um, we try to keep people... Um, remembering things that have happened in the past mm -hmm. in American history as well as things that are happening now. So we try to do that. We try to highlight um, artifacts. You know, one thing we've added is two temporary exhibits that switch out every few months or so. Mm -hmm. um, so we spend a lot of time uh, changing things and switching things out so, so the able experience to market is different. Whatever that new thing is. What is it currently? We have two. So the one that just opened is on the Second Amendment. Oh, okay, awesome. So it's all about the Second Amendment and really the evolution of um, the creation of firearms. Mm -hmm. So we have a huge selection of different firearms dating back from... So people are able to see some of the first and then all the way up until stuff that's out now. Yeah, and there's some really interesting stuff in there. So if you're someone who is into firearms, mm -hmm. a collector, a historian, or, or you know someone who just enjoys them in general, it's a really neat exhibit. And then our other one that's in the CSI lab is uh, called It Happened Here. And it's all about Tennessee crime and lawmen. Oh, okay. So you'll learn about famous um, lawmen throughout history in Tennessee as well as famous crimes. So, you know, I'm born and raised here, so there are things that I've grown up hearing about, mm -hmm. but I learned a lot about different cases in Tennessee as well whenever we opened that exhibit. So it's really interesting. That sounds fascinating. And a draw for locals also mm -hmm. to go in and, and take a look at that. Yeah. Um, since I haven't been there for that, I think I would yeah. go in and take a yeah, look at that. Yeah, you need to. So Just to learn. It, it helps being in an environment like that because, you know, not only is it interactive, but it's visual. Mm -hmm. It helps you retain the information that you're learning. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's not like you walk out of there and you feel like you won't remember any of it. I think some of it's just kind of it sticks out to you after mm -hmm. that. And a lot of our social media stuff, too, is about education. Mm -hmm and you know honoring those who who fight for us um, right. as far as military and law enforcement so that's why we have that crime fighting gallery mm -hmm. in the museum as well you know we teach about crime but we also teach about the consequences of it Which um, is and important. we and we always want to honor those who are protecting us yes. every day so yes. we do a lot of uh, social media posts and things honoring Honor. military and law as well now, uh, is it your Twitter that does trivia, or do you sometimes share stuff like that? We this? do uh, on Facebook and Twitter. Every Tuesday, we do a Trivia Tuesday question. That's become extremely popular. People love that. <laughs> People so, love having trivia and interacting. And it's a smart thing for companies mm -hmm. if it goes with your brand or if it coincides with the type of content that you mm -hmm. have to do something like yeah. that. It's perfect for you guys to offer some type of trivia question. Yes. Yeah. So we do Trivia Tuesday every Tuesday. And then on Thursday, I go live. 
and draw the name of the winner mm -hmm. and talk about the answer to the trivia question and always pertain it to something in the museum so I'm able to show that to them. Right. Um, and it's really helped with engagement. And I've got to the point now where I have, you know, some of the same people that come on every week yeah. and are engaging with me as well as new people. So it's it's been neat. It's been a great adventure. Trivia Tuesday has been really fun. And it gives me an opportunity to do a giveaway. I give mm -hmm. away tickets every single Thursday for Trivia Tuesday. So it lets people come in and see the museum as and well. And it gives people a reason to follow, you know, mm -hmm. like and follow the page and to you know, stay engaged with what you have going mm -hmm. on. As businesses, it can be a challenge sometimes, you know, keeping that engagement going and mm -hmm. knowing, okay, how am I going to get people to interact? How am I going to get them excited? And then keep them excited because, you know, they may not live here mm -hmm. so that the next time they come in, they'll come to my business. Yeah. And doing something like that and giving away tickets is a really, you know, clever way of being able to have um, people continuously engage and not want to unfollow the page. Yeah, yeah, and you know, whenever you work for a company, you really fall in love with the brand mm -hmm. that you're representing. So I enjoy engaging with our, you know, fan base and being right. able to show them new things. Uh, it's it's like a child to me. So right, right. Being able to get other people excited about our attraction and mm -hmm. what we have to offer is always fun as well from a marketing standpoint mm -hmm. of being the one marketing the company. Did you ever think that you would be doing this type of marketing? Definitely not. So uh, we talked about that a little this morning just in conversation as well. I had previously marketed the island mm -hmm. in Pigeon Forge, which is a wonderful place. We're located right, right at the entrance, the entrance of the entrance island. There, yeah. um, so I spent so much time marketing to, you know, mothers planning a family vacation. So everything of the island is very happy and Upbeat, fun friendly. and yeah. positive. <laughs> and, and so, you know, going to Alcatraz, um, I love it as well, but it's a totally different mm -hmm. demographic and a yeah. different brand. So it, it was challenging for me at first to kind of find my voice mm -hmm. and how to interact with the people because it is a little bit different um, type of people that I'm right. talking to. Um, but I've had a blast with it, and uh, I'm a crime person myself. I'm very into it, obviously. Uh, love documentaries. Mm -hmm. I'm totally into everything on Netflix right now <laughs> that's going on and the, the ID channel and things like mm -hmm. that. So um, already kind of being a fan and being enjoyed, interested in that as well mm -hmm. has helped. I think anybody that is interested in crime or, you know, in law enforcement, they would really get a kick out of going there. Mm -hmm. So if you've got a family member that you think would be interested in this, you know, plan a trip. And I think it, it's more fun if you go in as a group yeah, because you're all experiencing it a little differently. Um, the person that I went through with was really into serial killers mm -hmm. and was getting such a kick out of that. And, you know, I, I liked the, the law aspect of it, you know, learning about that. So everybody's going to take something differently. If you go mm -hmm. in with a group or your family or something, I think it'd be a really fun experience for everyone. Yeah, I know that law enforcement, um, you know, and military and mm -hmm. EMS, they look at it a certain way. Um, people who are into the serial killer history, they look at it a certain way. So it is. It's different for everybody. Um, there'll be parts of the museum that are, you know, may not interest you and you mm -hmm. go straight through and then there's another part of the museum you that you spend all your time yeah. in. So it's different for everybody, but that's why we have such a diverse um, selection of yeah, things. Absolutely. So it makes it fun for everybody. And that's the main thing. You keep your, your attraction where it's interesting and appealing for a lot of different people and mm -hmm. that's how you find success. Yeah. But thanks for coming on, and Absolutely. I hope everybody goes to the page and likes it so that they can participate in Trivia Tuesday. Yes. <laughs> and um, But thank you guys for tuning in today. I really like to be able to bring on a business and kind of showcase them, talk about their social media. If you guys have questions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like and share this video. And, of course, like our page, Mountain Fun Life, so that we can keep growing and get out to more people. Thanks so much. Stay tuned. We've got more coming up today. Mm -hmm.